Welcome back, and can you guess where I am in the castle? I'll give you five seconds. Well, that was about five seconds. If you couldn't already tell, I was at the stairway here. Oh, that was pretty sick, and I didn't even mean to do that. But I haven't shown this room off, and you know, I've beaten, uh, I've gotten all, almost all the castle secret stars. World 1, World 2, World 3, World 4, <laughs> fuck, World 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, before I move on to the top floors, I'm going to show off uh, Big Boo's haunt. So you want to concern yourself with this Boo over here. And they did, like in all the other games, they'll disappear when you get near them. Um, or if you look at them. So you're going to want to like look away from them, backflip, and then do a ground pound thing. So you can pretty much beat them without having to look at them. So it's quite easy uh, method of beating them. But anyway, uh, go on a ghost hunt. Um, so anyway, if you concern yourself with... Uh, yeah, with that boo in the corner, he will uh, reveal a cage that if you jump into, will reveal, you know, a giant castle. And inside this giant castle, Big Boo's haunt, there are plenty of ghosts and such, and our job for this Power Star is to find every single ghost, and just slaughter him. Um, so, yeah, let's grab this, uh, flying books and chairs, awesome, love this world. Now I know why I forgot to... Check it out. Oh, here are two ghosts that I need to kill. And since the main objective of this level is killing ghosts, might as well kill them now. Ghosts don't die! Okay, and I think they pretty much say that every single time. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Uh, not that scary when I've got this uh, Super Mario music playing, but... Just makes you it makes it lose a little emphasis, but, um... Yeah. Pretty much, un uh, bleh, 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 bleh. get back in there, Mario. All right. So there's another ghost in here, along with a Mr. I. Now the Mr. I, you know how to beat them. I've already showed you. If you run around them while they're looking at you, they'll die. You know, they'll get dizzy and they'll just like pass out. And they will give you a blue coin, which is very vital information for when you decide to do a 100 coin run, or when I decide to do it anyway. I don't know if you're planning on doing it. Um. Let's see. Yeah, there's a ghost over there, but I have a feeling I'm going to fall off that bridge. Uh, which, I mean, we're going to have to fall off anyway, I believe. Uh, to get another ghost in the basement, but I'm not sure about that one. So, yeah, whatever. But, I know I'm not going to fall down here, so... Let's just go here for now, and then finish that ghost off there, and... If that- if there's a ghost in the basement, like I think there might be, then we can just fall down at this bridge. Stupid ghost. Ah, stupid- oh my god, stupid ghost. Oh no, okay, that was the last ghost. Alright, so we have to run off this bridge and not- Alright. Okay, cool. Because I have this bad habit of just messing up completely on this bridge. Then you fall down in the, into this stupid area, it takes forever to get back up. But anyway, once you kill all the ghosts, this giant ghost appears, and as you can see, he's not very hard. He's the same as the other ghosts, except you have to hit him three times, and when you hit him, he makes the sound of a womp, which is just weird. But now the stairs appear, which allow you to explore the upper floors of Big Boo's haunts uh, in the future stars of this level, but... Um, anyway, we have gotten the first star in Big Boo's haunt. And I might as well show it off. Uh, as dumb as you may think it might sound, People have, uh, hypothesized about- Get the fuck away from me, you stupid ghost. Oh my, oh my god, just go away. I don't want life right now. Oh my god, you stupid ghost. Even though you can heal by being on the surface of the water. But anyway, people have, like, hypothesized and debated and argued and, like, spread rumors about how this sign right here, the message on this thing right here, has hinted at Luigi being in Super Mario 64. And, like what this message says and what kind of secret message it is and all that kind of stuff. People have said, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, let me spend three days looking at this to try to figure out what it means. Because Luigi might be in this game. Oh my god. But then again, I mean, people have discovered that in like 2008 that Master Hand is in Super Smash Bros. Melee. And I can confirm that he is in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Not, like, you're not, he's not unlockable, but there's this, like, A and B trick with the character naming thing that you have to do, and you can glitch your way into being Master Hand, and it's overly complicated, and being Master Hand isn't even all that 
wonderful because only I can only like pull off two moves as him. So it's pretty dumb anyway, but and you can only control him with the player three slot, so it's all pretty stupid. It's not like that fun. It's nothing you'd want to do in like a competition. Because I mean you are invincible and can't die, but it's just otherwise it's too stupid. It takes too much effort to actually transform into him. So it's kinda stupid, but I'm sure if you look it up you can find out how to become master man. But it's not really all that special. So what you want to do here, I believe, is kill all the boos, just like in the previous star. So nothing all that creative here. So not a very wonderful uh, world. Uh, this stupid fucking Mario around is being kind of annoying. But uh, since they do give you blue coins after you kill them, they're not really much of a nuisance. Uh, and I, just, we, I believe we just have to kill all these ghosts until the big boo appears once again. And then the levels get a little more creative, I hope. Except you have to fight another big boo. I believe you fight like three big boos in this level. So, let's just kill this guy. And body slam! I've just been killing this guy with body slams. While I usually kill him with ground pounds. But whatever. Get over here. Oh my god, this merry-go-round. So you're dead once again, big boo. You're just getting your ass kicked today, aren't you? Poor big boo. Uh, but I'm glad we're getting this level done a lot quicker than I was uh, fearing that we would. Because I just had this strange fear that it was going to take me forever to find all the boos or something stupid like that. But we haven't been having that trouble really, so that's good. Except that fucking boo that hurt me. You hurt me. You hurt me. Now. Secret of the Haunted Books. Let's go. Alright, so what we're gonna wanna do is actually explore the second floor for a change. Don't know why they bothered giving us stairs if we're not even gonna use them. Alright, so I believe it's one of these doors over here on the left. Uh, yep, this one. First try. Alright, so you're gonna wanna dodge all these killer books. Because they're gonna wanna kill you. And there are gonna be three books here. And you're gonna wanna kick them in the right order. And I have no idea what the right order is. So let's just try and get this right. The com the the pattern no, it's not the left right. Here. Okay, it's definitely not that either. Okay. Bottom uh, or top bottom middle. Alright. That's a very recurring pattern in Mario games. Like left, right, middle, or top, bottom, middle, or stuff like that. Um I don't know, I can't think of many at the top of my head, but I know that there's a badge in Paper Mario. You get one of the uh, SFX badges or whatever they are um, by hitting, or next to Koopa Village by hitting the blocks in uh, the order of left, right, middle. Uh, but that's, well, this is not Paper Mario, this is Super Mario 64, so there's no reason to discuss, to discuss that. Uh, seek the eight red coins. Okay, this one could give me a little trouble, but probably not. Because I'm pretty sure we saw all or most of the eight red coins in our first run of the level. So I know there's one by this piano, if we can get him. Yes, yeah, this is a monster piano. That's right. It does some pretty major damage, so don't let, don't let your guts... Don't let yourself get eaten by this uh, monster piano. And there are another two red coins on top of these bookshelves. Who said books didn't have a purpose? Obviously to help you get red coins. Who the fuck cares about reading, though? <laughs> Speaking of reading, fuck summer reading. Oh my god. Up the butthole. Oh my god. Whose idea was it just to, to just say, you know what, you guys are pretty smart, so you know what? I'm just gonna give you some extra work to do. Because you're so smart, I'm just gonna reward you with a bunch of extra work. Because I'm so fucking cool. Oh my god. It's probably Miyamoto. Because Miyamoto obviously works at my school. He's obviously the leader of the reading, the English department in my school. Obviously. In addition to being Nintendo and Microsoft and Sony all at the same time. Obviously. I'm not being sarcastic at all. I actually am being pretty sarcastic. You have noticed. So, let's... No! I better be like a red coin down here to make it worth my while or something. Probably isn't though. See, but what's gonna be awful is I'm probably gonna say, okay, there's no red coin down here. Go to the top floor. And then have there be a red coin down here. That'd be awful. But anyway, to escape from this place, because I haven't actually shown you how to escape, you just go around to this door up here, or over here. And... Uh, go 
in this door here, and there should be an elevator right over here, which will take you to a shed right outside the mansion, or the haunt, if you will, because it is Big Boo's haunt. I don't know if it's referring to the mansion or what, or it's probably just referring to uh, the overall feeling presented by Big Boo, the feeling of being haunted by this, by said Boo. Um, Uh, one of these doors has to be, I don't know. I think I've explored all these doors. Let me just check now. Now I've been through that door. I know I've been through that door. But probably the other half is probably just going to be up here. If my hypothesis is correct. Alright. And this thing is another thing that will make you fall down. Uh, pretty annoying. This thing's going to be important later, but not now. So, Alright. That's five red coins. I'm not making this very quick or easy, am I? Uh, there's another red coin in here, I'm sure. Alright, six. Okay. Getting a little nervous here, because we only got like two doors left. I'm gonna go in this one. Alright, there's nothing in here, which is awesome. Alright, in here, I don't think there's a red coin in here. I don't know. I really don't think there is. Damn it! I hate this level, oh my god. This may be my least favorite red coin level. Oh my god. Rage. Rage. Alright, I completely forgot about this room. And how it has coffins in it. But yeah, if you go in this room, um... There are coffins with two red coins in it. I can't believe I forgot about this room. I feel stupid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's your eight red coins. Pretty easy. I just completely forgot about the coffin room. So don't get crushed by the coffin, and don't forget about the coffin room. And this level will go swimmingly. So yeah. Pretty easy. Where is that? Uh, oh yeah, it's up there. It's on the top floor, so why'd I even bother, like, jumping down? There was no purpose to that. I just lost health. So what? Yeah! Whatever. Anyway, now we have 66 stars, so... That's always swell. We're getting, we're, uh, we're getting pretty close, hopefully, to the end of this uh, course. Because I'm not very fond of this course, if you haven't already noticed. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, two more. And I know what one of them... Okay, I know what both of them are, actually. And both of them involve the third floor, I believe. So, nothing too hard. But these require a little speed. Big Boo's balcony. Alright. Uh, so this one requires you to get onto the third floor where Big Boo is on that balcony, if you didn't see it while I was doing my triple jump. Uh, so what you're gonna want to do is make use of- well, you don't even need to make use of that Vanish Cap yet, but that's gonna be the last star, but I might as well make an attempt at it now, because it will take me a couple tries, and at least this time, if I don't make it, I can just go and get the other star. So, let's grab this, and you're gonna be re you're gonna want to be really quick here. Run over to here, onto this thing, right here, and you're gonna want to do, like, a sort of, uh, skillful ball jump here, and then you're going to want to run all the way around here, and you're going to want to go through this painting right here. Okay, and as you can see, I made it just in time. So, you're going to fight this giant Mr. Eye, and if I can get him to follow me with his eye, faggot, come on. Look at me. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! All right. Here it is, Power Star. Not the one that we came here to get, but uh, it's a good thing I got it now, because didn't want to have to get it later. And uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I'll see you next time.